Okay, so here's a few problems from your homework that um, were asked online, and I want to answer them now. Um, this is the, this problem right here, 1.1.63, area equals 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r squared. And the question, the first question was, what is the formula for h? In other words, what they're asking you to do here is to solve the formula for h, for this variable right here. Okay, so what we're going to have to do is isolate, first of all, the, um, the term that has the h in it. Okay, so I'm going to take this term to the other side. And the way I'm going to take it to the other side is I'm going to undo whatever's being done to it. See how it's being added right here? So what I need to do to take it to the other side is do subtraction. Okay, now these two are not like terms, obviously, so I'm just going to write it as a minus 2 pi r squared. And then on the other side, 2 pi r h, because that adds to be 0. All right, now if I'm trying to isolate the h, what I need to do is, is undo these operations, get all three of these things on the other side. All three of these things are being multiplied um, to the h, so to undo multiplication, I do division. So I would divide both sides by the 2 pi r. So my h here is going to be equal to a minus 2 pi r squared over 2 pi r. Now I'm not exactly sure how they're leaving this uh, online. You can actually simplify that a little bit further by breaking these fractions up. a over 2 pi r and then minus the 2 pi r squared over 2 pi r because they have common denominators. Okay, um, and be well, excuse me, because this denominator belongs to both of them. And then you can actually simplify this one by doing some canceling. So it would be a over 2 pi r minus r, like that. Okay, so that would be your formula for h here. Okay, in part b, they actually ask us, um, they actually ask us for the height. They want to know what the height of the cylinder. So that formula on the other side is actually um, a surface area formula for, I believe, a cylinder. They want the height of a cylinder given that the surface area is 32 pi centimeters squared and the radius is 2 centimeters. Okay, so what you're going to be doing is plugging in these values into the formula that we just found. Okay, so A is going to go in there and the 2 is going to go in for the R. So your height is going to be 32 pi over 2 pi times 2. I'm dropping the units here um, because it'll work out to be centimeters in the end. And then this is minus 2. And if I simplify that, pi's will cancel. This is a 4 into a 32 is an 8 minus 2. That's that minus 2, so the height here is 6 centimeters. Okay. So that's those two problems. Um, next problem that was asked, this problem right here, um, you were asked to solve this by completing the square. Okay, so solving by completing the square, you first of all have to isolate these two terms with the constant term on the other side, and then what you need to do is make the coefficient of x squared 1. Okay, so I'm going to divide everything by 12. This is actually going to be a pretty obnoxious problem <laughs> um, because there's a lot of fractions involved. Okay, um, So you have to make sure that the coefficient of x squared is 1, and then what you're going to do is identify what your b is. b is always the coefficient of x, so that's 25 over 12. Um, and then you take a half of b, so half of 25 over 12, and you get 25 over 24, and then you square that. So 25 over 24 squared is going to give you, I don't know, get my calculator out. 25 squared is 625, and 24 squared is 576. Okay, this number is what you're going to add to both sides of our equation. So it's going to become x squared plus 25 over 12x 
plus 625 over 576 equaling 7 over 12 plus the 625 over 576. Okay, this now is going to factor into um, x plus this number, 25 over 24, equaling, I have to get a common denominator over here, so 576. Um, I would need to multiply this number by 48 over 48 to get the common denominator there. Okay, so the 7 times 48 is 336 over 576 plus the 625 over the 576. Okay, um, if I get a common denominator in the top. So we have x plus 25 over 24 squared equaling, uh, looks like 961 over 576 on the other side. All right, now what we need to do is take the square root of both sides. And so if I take the square root here and the square root there, this is going to pop out as an x plus 25 over 24. On the other side, we're going to have a plus or minus. Let's see if that uh, uh, 961 is a perfect square. I think it is. Yes, it's 31. And 576, I believe, is also a perfect square. It's 24. Okay, subtract to the other side. So you got negative 25 over 24 plus or minus 31 over 24. And then this is two different things. This is actually negative 25 over 24 plus 31 over 24 and negative 25 minus 31. Both of these over 24. Okay, so this one right here becomes um, looks like 6 over 24, which reduces to be 1 fourth. And this one right here becomes a negative 56 over 24, um, which reduces, <coughs> excuse me, uh, looks like negative 14 over 6, that reduces even more, so it looks like 8 goes into both of these, negative 7 over 3. Okay, so there would be your two solutions there.